right? Okay, 2060. Some factories became automated. Traditional workers find themselves with mismatched skills and became unemployed. At the same time, computer operators are high in demand. What is this A type of unemployment call? Right, these uh, traditional workers, they have got, what is this, this is what you call structural unemployment, no? With technological development and all, when the structure of the economy changes, these typewriters running out of work, right? But now, because things have changed, okay? So this is what you call structural unemployment. What is structural unemployment? When, because of technological advancements, right? Because of all of that, now there's a mismatch between the skills. Like people learned one thing, they were doing one thing, but now jobs are demanding for something else. Therefore, you don't have a job. That is structural unemployment. The other types, guys, we'll naturally talk about. Uh, there are more MCQs to come. Okay. Right. 45. Which change would best indicate that a country has achieved development? Now, this was there before also, guys. Same question. No change at all. Answer is also the same. Economic development. Which one? One, two, three, four, five. Increase in a country is real GDP. No, friction and season is not the same. Which one? Increase in the country's percentage in total workers, improvement in balance of payment, appreciation in the country's currency, improvement in the citizens' quality of life. Improvement in the quality of life, right? Remember, the same question was there in a previous paper as well. Increase in the real GDP, guys. This is what you call economic growth, not economic development. Okay. For the six, again, we spoke about total dependency ratio. What is it? Child to adults in the population, unemployed to employed, population over the age of uh, 60 to 100 persons in the working age, population below 15. Uh, this thing, uh, there, yeah, which one, guys? Answer number. Remember dependency ratio. Dependency ratio is the dependence, small kids and the old people as a percentage of the working age, no? So answer number five, right here, population below 15 and above 59, right? Small kids and the old people, two. Two means as a ratio of, right? As a percentage of the population age 15 to 59. So population age 15 to 59 is called the working age population. Got it? Small kids, old people, Dependence, dependence as a percentage of the working age population. That's what you call the total dependency ratio. Can you see how questions are being repeated and how easy they are getting now? Uh, look at this. Uh, this again is uh, outdated, right? This is according to the poverty survey of 2012 and 13. Now, uh, 12 and 13, there was a poverty survey. 2016, there was a poverty survey. And now the latest poverty survey we have is a 2019 one. Uh, 2019 one data came only last year. So we'll see. Uh, they're asking for the poverty in the urban, rural, and estate. Uh, remember the document we had it open. No? Uh, yo, where did my document go? Mm, ah, this one. Okay. But urban, rural, and estate here. Uh, here. Uh, updated poverty line. Right. Uh, urban, six percent. Uh, can you all write down these numbers, guys, on your this thing? 2019 new numbers are huh? don't give the old numbers in your answer urban six percent that means in the urban population six percent are in poverty uh, rural 15.0 uh, percent right exactly 15 percent uh, estate sector now the new number is 33.8 six fifteen and 33.8 so you can say six percent 15 percent and 33.8%. This is according to the 2019 poverty headcount index. So most likely there can be a new uh, estimate that might come around uh, next year. So for any future batches watching this, right, maybe get it from the latest poverty headcount uh, poverty survey. Okay. 48. Hi, you are these even questions. Lorentz curve can be used to evaluate which of the following economic issues. Lorentz curve is the production and allocative efficiency, comparative advantage, intensity of specialization, 
equality in income distribution, relationship between unemployment and price stability. Uh, these questions to ask you all, no? Can you see how direct and easy these are? Lorentz curve is there to look at income, how the income is distributed, right? So 48 is 4. Then 49, which the following correctly indicates the contribution of the agricultural sector to Sri Lanka's employment in 2040. Now that we don't know, no GDP and employment. So we'll go to the uh, right. I'm showing you all how to get these guys is because you all need to know, right? So go to uh, CBSL, CBSL annual report. Latest one we have for now is 2022. So we'll go with that. Okay, so go to the CBSL report 22. My oops, mm, my Wi Fi, why did I switch? Okay. So go to the annual report. Okay, go to uh, national output income and employment. Right, you can see. So uh, the in the main thing it will be there, guys. Mm, uh, how much is the contribution? Agriculture, industry, services. Methian here. So this is the contribution, GDP contribution, right? So agriculture. 2022 uh, write this down 2022 agriculture sector has contributed 7.5 percent to gdp yeah agriculture 7.5 uh industry sector 27.5 percent to gdp then service sector 60.5 this is the gdp contribution not the employment contribution uh. employment will come agriculture 7.5 industry 27.5 service as 60.5 it doesn't add up to 100 because all of that added together is gross value added that plus taxes on subsidies is only gdp market price okay so that's the output gdp we'll look at the employment ball of employment you know may have take a ultimate at the bottom mm. Mm. Yeah, it's it. For manufacturing. On saving income. Where is the employment? Ah, here employment is there. Mm. Okay, given income income approach, population mm. estimated there are twelve point. Given it directly, eh? uh, it should be there somewhere. I guess I'll I find and get back. Ah, maybe, maybe. Right here. Uh, shares of employment in the industry and service. Uh, how many people in the agricultural sector? Employment in the agricultural sector has fallen from um, 2.1 to 3. They are not given the percentage. No? We'll see. Uh, shares of people in the industry and service. So, industry is. Uh, twenty six percent. Right, this is employment. Okay, this twenty twenty two. So in twenty twenty two, employment uh, in the industrial sector is twenty six point five percent. Not the GDP contribution, the employment here. Yeah? This number twenty six point five percent in the industrial sector. Uh, forty seven percent are in the uh, service sector. Okay, so is that in twenty twenty two from? Yeah, that's the. These are the new one. Okay. Then uh, agricultural sector key the share of employment agriculture declined to uh, yeah. agriculture 26 point uh, industry agriculture they come at either. Accordingly, shares of employment in industry and service increased to yeah. So industry 26.5. Uh, this is a 47. Then uh, agriculture declined, agriculture also 26.5. Now see guys. Can you see right now? We'll uh Look at this, right? Put these numbers. Can someone give me the numbers, guys? Uh, the GDP contribution, agriculture, industry, and service. Agriculture was how much? 7.5. 7 7 2022, huh? these are 7.5. Okay. Agriculture, 7.5. Industry, 20, how much? 27. Point. Okay. 
service 60.5. Okay. So this is the GDP contribution. Then how many people work in these sectors? Employment contribution. Agriculture, even though they contribute only 7.5% for uh, the output, 26.5 people were working in the agricultural sector. Industry also 26.5, no? And how much were working in the this one? 47. Just add these numbers and see whether they give you 100. If it gives you 100, that means the numbers are correct. 26.5 plus 26.5 plus 47. So from the total people employed, the sectors that they employed. They have to be employed in these three sectors. No, can't be anywhere else. Does it give you 100? Correct? 100? No. Then that's correct. Okay. So see, now look at this case. Look at the story here. Agricultural sector employs 26.5% of the total labor force. Okay. But by employing 26.5% of the labor force, they are only contributing to 7.5% of the GDP. So what does that mean, guys? That means the productivity is very low, right? They are employing 26.5% of the labor force, but only contributing to 7.5% of the GDP. Okay? Now, industry sector, while employing 26.5% of the population, or the labor force, they are contributing to 27.5%. Same. Look at the service sector. They are the most productive people. By employing 47% of the population of the labor force, they are contributing to 60.5% of the GDP. So, you know, they can ask you a question from this. There can be MCQ. So, don't worry about the 2014 one. You remember 2022 and, you know, do a little bit of uh, reading and find for 2021 also. Right? So, now I'm not going to show you for 21. Go to the 21 Central Bank Report. Go to the chapter on national output. Get the number. Do that for home work. Okay. Uh, but the numbers will be very similar to 2022. Fine. Fine. Then, um, yes, do it for 2021 now because in your year they can ask for 2021. Right. We don't know. Now, usually they ask for two years before. That is because A levels happen in August. Now, now given A levels are postponed, they can ask. So, here, yeah, 2016 A level paper, they ask from the 2014. 2014 CBSL, two years before. So 2023, ideally they should ask from 21. But now given A levels are postponed, new CBSL report has come, they can ask even from 2022. So you have to know 21 and 22 numbers both. But 21 and 2 numbers will be similar. You say it will be the common sense when you're answering them. Okay? Oh. Right. Then, uh, sorry, question number 50. Which of the following countries is not a member of the G7? Okay, who are the countries of the G7? We'll quickly do a Google search. G7 countries. Who are the G7 countries? We'll look at a picture. No. These are the G7. Right? Uh, no, no, this is not. This. Is this the G7? Uh, who are the countries? Whom do you have? No, maybe. So you have uh, US, Canada, United Kingdom, France, Italy, Germany, and Japan. These are the countries. So just make a note and keep it. Right? Uh, US, Canada, France, Italy, Germany, and Japan. These are the seven countries in the group of seven. And group of seven is also an uh, organization like a big trading block. Then which of this is not there, guys? Uh, Japan, Canada, from our list that was there. Compare and see. Ape list taker. These are our lists. Who is not there? Russia is not there, no? Right. So answer Rashi. Yeah. Okay, 2016 done. Uh, see how much do you all get right kids out of here. Now can you see questions are getting easy? Out of uh, 44 in that. 44 in that means there is uh, six questions. No, seven, no? Seven questions. How much out of seven? At least now five. Yeah, if you can at least get around five here and then for duck, you're getting better. Okay. So same question. Good. We'll go to 2017. 